So welcome to Ecotoxicology and Environmental Health Concentration. I'm going to give you a little brief uh, introduction to this program. Uh, so our mission is to provide training and education in basic environmental science and risk assessment frameworks to help evaluate the complicated and dynamic interactions between contaminants and ecological or health, uh, human health. So we take a multidisciplinary approach that incorporates toxicology, environmental chemistry, risk assessment, and ecology to assess the fate, effects, and risks of pollutants in natural ecosystems and in human populations. So the curriculum include uh, required core courses, um, that also area of specialization, one of those three, toxicology, environmental chemistry, or environmental health and epidemiology. One graduate statistic course is required, one social science course is required, one tools course uh, is required. This is to provide training in quantitative frameworks applied to real world scenarios. For example, we can do a GRS or a exposure analysis course which um, teach how to assess human exposures to pollutants and environmental stressors. Now there will be a, a electives for you to select for a large uh, um, pool of the classes offered at Nicholas School and even outside of the Nicholas School. Very importantly, there will be a master's project. This will really provide opportunity for students to work on um, either a, a uh, practice driven project or research driven project. So you might be interested in knowing how does the <coughs> EEH program uh, where you are going to get an MEM degree compared to a MS program. So students have the option to select a research track within the e EH uh, which provides the same training as an MS degree but Additionally, this will provide training in environmental management. By selecting the research track, um, we require you to have a 12 to 18 uh, master's project credit hours instead of a four to six um, for a non-research track program. Students spend the summer between the first and the second year uh, working in their faculty advisor's research lab on their MP. So the, the summer is part of the <coughs> research track uh, master's program. Uh, for others, if they're not research track, the summer is typically um, spent to do a summer internship. So the employment examples, I think our students, uh, graduates, find jobs uh, at um, uh, various um, uh, sectors, a uh, private sector, uh, mostly uh, consulting firms uh, do uh, health uh, risk assessment, um, or some energy environmental defense fund, for example. Uh, those are NGOs uh, to provide policy analysis and uh, also in the government, governmental sector, like the US EPA, uh, which uh, have the largest research facility, the lab, in the Research Triangle Park area. And um, <coughs> yeah, for, uh, you know, examples include US Fish and Wildlife Services, a Aquatic Science Center, uh, various uh, um, employers uh, in the area and also um, in the nation.